Hi guys! Today, we're going to um, do some impedance matching using Smith chart. So the tools that I'm going to use today would be Advanced Design System by Keysight. Okay. So um, these tools will um, help you to um, making it easier to find all uh, matching network that would be able to um, suit the this um, value. Okay, so um, if you were wondering how can I um, find this component, so you just have to, um, um, you were here, most probably you were in the basic components, and then you will choose um, Smith chart matching. Smith chart matching, not impedance matching, but Smith chart matching. Oh no! Like it's pretty difficult to find, but you just have to find it. Okay, and then after that, you will just drag this, and then and then okay. So assuming you will drag this down. What you're going to do next is you're going to um, click and then tools, then switch chart. Okay, so you will be presented by this um, window. After this, what you're going to do is um, you can, there are two options here. You can just um, here and then type the um, impedance. However, um, if you don't want to go through the hassle of computing the reactance and then um, um, remembering which is positive and negative um, dependent on your uh, components, so what you're going to do is this, define source. So in our example, we're going to use 200 ohm, okay? And then 12.66, 12.66. Farad. Okay, so we're just going to enable the load termination. Okay, and then click apply. Okay, after that, um, you're going to define the frequency. Okay, so we're operating at 1 gigahertz, and then our impedance, let's make it um, 100. 100 ohms. Okay, as you can see, um, if you normalize this, um, we will have this value 2, then minus 0 0.125, okay. You could try it or check it using the um, um, formula of reactance and then normalizing it. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is you could have um, being able to match this without uh, with just a simple click using this okay as you can see it's pretty straight straightforward you will um, be given with the two possible configuration which is the um, series inductor and then parallel capacitor and then the other one would be this okay so um and then that's it and then after that there would be um a network response so that would be um the first method um in order to um match network you could also um instead of defining the load termination you could also um define using this one so we're just going to delete this delete okay so say in, for instance we have um, 100 and then 50 okay so instead you were um, given by impedance um, you don't have to define the load termination you just um, go and directly input it um, take note that what you're going to input here is the actual impedance not the um, normal input or normalized impedance. Okay. After that, 
push enter and then you're going to lack load impedance um, the reason why we lack load impedance is in order to um, we will not be able to move this okay? because if we do not lack the load impedance um, the moment that we try to um, match match the load um, it might be uh, being with, without knowing this node might move okay so let's try parallel so say for instance we're going to um this one and then the good thing about this um tool is that um you don't have to worry about the direction because sometimes it's confusing which is counterclockwise, which is not, and then which is clockwise, and then what um, axis I'm going to use as so impedance or admittance. This will automatically set it for you. Okay, just this moment, we've already matched the network. As you can see, the voltage or the standing wave ratio is one, which is um, good because that means we have a match network. So, and then we'll be given by this um, value of capacitance and then value of inductance. One um, thing that I also notice in this one, okay, they say, let's try to um, mess with this program. Say, for instance, um, let's try this one. Okay. 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 So as you can see, it's much because um, we have voltage or standing wave ratio of almost approximately to one. But you will notice that you have a negative value, so which is kind of confusing. So that's why. It's also a good way to check if um, your method or doing this would be impractical to the real world, okay? Or if it will work in the real world, okay? To recap, what we learn in this video is that um, we will be we have used this Smith Smith chart matching in this section, and you'll just drag it down. After that, you could um, assemble your circuit here just for reference and then yes yes using the um, smith chart so in this video you learn that you could type all of the parameters here or define your load network or you could just um, easily click the um, auto element match which shows you all of the possible configuration um, that is possible in the load impedance that you have given also um, this is an important um, uh, parameter to consider in the real world because you have to consider the um, frequency response of your um, design. So thank you for watching and happy smith charting. Bye bye.